Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a assassin claw that is called Bartuk's Cutthroat. Bartuk's Cutthroat is a very nice claw, and it is analogous to uh, the Barbarian Helmet, um, Ariat's face, or it is very analogous to Jalal's mane. It is kind of just like an all-around good item for an assassin, but not necessarily the best item that you can put on your head. However, this particular one obviously goes in your hand. It is also very important to note that claws are never seen at their correct attack speed unless they are on an actual assassin. So if you look at this on any character that is not an assassin, what you will note is, well, it's going to say it's extremely slow, um, which is kind of silly because, you know, non-assassins can't even wield these things anyway. It's like they wanted to prevent people from taking advantage of the fact that, uh, you know, it was a fast weapon, but then at the same time, you know, they restricted it from all classes except for assassin. So what was the point? Um, it is also important to note that this weapon is a negative 30 uh, speed weapon. So uh, the base speed of this weapon is negative 30, and it is just as fast as a phase blade, believe it or not. So let's go over the item together, and we'll look and see uh, what it does. So it's uh, 88 to 155 damage. Um, this is the uh, greater talons. And uh, it has a dexterity requirement of 79, a strength requirement of 79, 79, 79. And uh, it has a level requirement of only level 49. Not bad, actually. And, uh, and quite honestly, for a level 49 item, this might be a very easy item for you to put on on a lot of assassins, even if you're not technically a martial arts sin, just simply because it has such nice stats. Uh, it does have very fast attack speed, as we were talking about earlier. It is negative 30 for assassins. And um, it also has plus one martial arts skills, static, plus two assassin, which is also static. Um, it also has the, uh, the very nice 30% faster hit recovery, which is going to help you out a ton as far as uh, recovering from attacks. Uh, you definitely want to have at least a certain amount of faster hit recovery. Now, it does vary depending on characters. Uh, but if we take a look at the uh, faster hit recovery breakpoints for the assassin, um, we can come up with a decent idea of what the uh, faster hit recovery breakpoints are and where you probably need to be. Um, so just taking a quick look at the chart, uh, we have assassin is... Zero is nine frames, which is not really that great. Um, if you compare that to the... Um, the Paladin, um, that is, of course, the same frames that the Paladin has at zero. Uh, so you're probably looking at at least 48% faster hit recovery um, to get you in a good space. So that brings you up to five frames. Um, and you ideally, 86% would be your goal. But 48% is more than enough, in my opinion, uh, for most situations. And, uh, and the claws, of course, are giving you 30, which means you're already most of the way there. You only need 18% more. Um, you could very easily get that with, for instance, uh, a 12% faster recovery small charm or grand charm and maybe um, a 8% large charm. Um, you could also get that, obviously, from other things like your shield or your, or your armor or relatively, you know, quite a few other sources, which can definitely help you out a ton. Uh, we also have an enhanced damage on this item, uh, which does vary by quite a bit. Um, it is anywhere between 150 to 200%, so it has a 50% variable. Um, that does mean that the Bartux can uh, can go as low as, what is it, 77 damage on the min, and as low as 137 on the max, so keep that in mind. Uh, we also have a adds 25 to 50 damage, which is actually just added straight to the weapon. It's very nice. 20% bonus to attack rating, which is very, very sexy. Um, that bonus to attack rating actually just adds directly to your attack rating. So as you can see, I have 928 Dragonflight, and then when I put it on, it goes up to 1,734, which is very, very nice. Um, it's not as good as flat attack rating, but bonus percent attack rating can multiply very nicely so when you start adding in those max damage ar charms and things like that um, it's going to multiply off this 20 percent we also have a nine percent lifesteal and this is one of the variables um, it does vary between five to nine percent so if you are looking for a higher lifesteal one of these um, 
hold out for the 9%. There's very, there's only two variables on this weapon, which is the ED and the, and the lifesteal. So if you find a 200% 9 ED, 9% lifesteal Bartux, that's perfect. Uh, we also have a very nice plus 20 dex and plus 20 strength, uh, which means that you can use Bartux relatively nicely as a buff stick. So, uh, you know, if like, for instance, let's say I had a much nicer claw in my left hand, maybe I was using Natalia's Mark, I could take a Bartux, put it in my other hand, get that nice 20, 20 strength, 20 dex, um, and it would help me out a lot, as well as the 30% faster hit recovery, the plus two assassin skills, just a generally very nice buff stick. Um, it can also be used as your main hand weapon, of course. Uh, we also have the ethereal version, which is 118 to 206 damage, and uh, and it has 69, 69 dex and strength, Ooh -hoo. as well as level 49 requirement. Now, if you were going to use the Bartex Cutthroat Greater Talons um, in the Arthurial form, you would have to do so with either A, an ability that does not burn durability, Blade Fury, for instance, does not burn durability, and or B, you would have to put a Zod rune in it. Um, now, putting a Zod rune in it is going to raise the level requirement. Um, this Zod rune inside this item will immediately raise the level to level 76, as you can see. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade this, and uh, we're going to have some fun to uh, play around the, with the Bartux. So to upgrade these, you're going to need a Pull Rune, you're going to need a Lum Rune, and you're going to need a Perfect Emerald. Um, this will upgrade it from the nightmare base the exceptional level base to the hell or elite base um, so as you can see we got 88 to 155 79 dex 79 strength 49 level requirement and uh, it goes to the runic talons and now it has 97 to 182 damage 115 dex 115 strength quite a bump in the uh, requirements there and it goes up to level 74. now this one would also go up to level 74 but because of the zod rune is at level 76 so do keep that in mind now to upgrade this one uh, same thing a paul alum and a perfect emerald and this one's going to go from 118 to 206 strength require or uh, damage 69 strength requirement 69 dex requirement and uh, goes to 133 to 248 one-handed damage, 105 dex, 105 strength, and level 83. Um, so as you can see there, um, quite a, a level bump there, and that is because of the Zod rune, by the way. Otherwise, it would be level 74. Um, I don't know why the Zod rune adds kind of an odd level requirement. It's always done that. Uh, it doesn't always work the way that you think it will. Now, uh, what can you actually use Bartux for? Well, it's not necessarily the best item um, that you can ever use for a assassin. Um, there are obviously other ways that you could go. You could obviously use a spirit sword and shield. You could uh, you could use you know like a chaos claw or the new plague claw. I mean, there's a lot of different options. Um, and Bartux Cutthroat doesn't necessarily represent the best option for a lot of characters, but because it has plus two assassin. 30% faster recovery, as well as 20 dex and 20 strength, um, it can actually be a really nice claw uh, as a placeholder before you get your, your, you know, your best in slot claw. You can use it as a buff stick just for the plus two to skills. You can use it for the extra dex and strength. Um, you can use it just for the faster hit recovery. Uh, there's a lot of different things that people like to do with claws, either A, using them as offhand buff sticks, or B, using them as the main hand weapon. Um, as a main hand weapon, 133 to 248 one-handed damage is actually pretty sweet. As you can see, Natalia's mark is only 120 to 153, so it definitely out-DPSs the um, Natalia's mark. Now, Natalia's mark does have ITD and 40% increased attack speed, and, uh, and that is actually pretty sweet. But um, Bartux is actually really fast as well, uh, with that that uh, negative 30 base. It's actually pretty sweet. Um, honestly, what classes could get good use out of Bartux? Well, um, it's good for a martial arts sin, obviously, because it has plus three martial arts. Um, so using it on a martial arts sin is actually pretty sweet. Now, martial arts sins are not, like, super duper popular these days. So it's something that, um, it probably goes to the wayside. But they have done a lot of changes with the martial arts tree lately. And uh, it could be interesting to see how the, uh, ethereal zotted bartux cutthroat holds up in a in a martial arts sin a pure martial arts sin 
Um, it also obviously works very well on just about any character, just as a temporary item, as a as a buff stick, as it were. Um, you could put this on a trap sin. Uh, you could definitely put it on a blade fury sin. Um, the ethereal zotted version in its perfect form might actually make a really good main hand um, blade fury item. Um, specifically, if you're going to do Claw Mastery, uh, Blade Fury, and uh, you know it could be interesting. You might not even necessarily have to Zot it if you were going to do Blade Fury only, but do keep in mind that um, while Blade Fury does not burn durability, uh, Blade Shield and Blade Sentinel do. So uh, so do keep that in mind. Um, also, you know, if you're going to be doing Weapon Block, you're going to want two Claws. So this could be an interesting second or first Claw, depending on how you're going to do your double Claw setup. Uh, just simply so you have either the plus to skills, the faster hit recovery, um, so forth and so on. And then maybe you've got your, your better, higher damage or whatever's going on with this Claw over here. You know, you, maybe you've got your, your main hand Claw is technically better, right? So you're just, you're just working around with it. Um, as you can see here, with Natalia's on, uh, full Natalia's, I've already got plus three Assassin. Um, and then I've got plus two over here with another Martial Arts. So that's plus six Martial Arts just from the two-piece there, um, which is actually pretty darn sweet. And, um, and I've even got plus two Shadow Disciplines. So you're talking about, uh, what is that, um, five, six, seven, so seven to the, uh, to the Shadow Disciplines, which is also pretty cool. And, uh, you know, of course, you could stack up even higher than that. You could put on, a, you know, Amaras for plus two, or you could do a martial arts amulet. Um, you could obviously wear Soja's, Bull Cathos, uh, Rachnid's Mesh. Um, there's even a martial arts pair of gloves that you can get if you really wanted to stack it up as high as possible. I mean, you're talking about, what, three, four, five, six, or five, six, seven, eight. Um, and then we also have, uh, what, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we've got plus 14 already there, and then 15, 16, 17 for a torch, 18 for, um, you know, a, a, an Annie, and then 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 if you, uh, if you ran some martial arts skillers. So, I mean, as you can see there, you can get some pretty sexy plus to skills, and you could really make, like, for instance, Phoenix Strike or Blades of Ice or Claws of Thunder or Fist of Fire hit really particularly hard. Uh, when it comes to an assassin, though, like, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. Assassin is not one of my strongest classes. Um, I did a lot of gameplay on Classic. I did a lot of gameplay on uh, Lord of Destruction when it first came out. And um, Druid and Assassin are probably two of my least played classes. And I don't want you to take that to mean that I, you know, don't play them at all. Um, what I need you to understand is that... Um, I played the other ones a hell of a lot more. Um, I learned a hell of a lot more on the others. Well, Cody is back there messing with my green screen. I brought my dog up upstairs with me today so that they wouldn't wake up the uh, the nappers. And uh, he's, he's over there knocking my green screen over. He doesn't care. <laughs> So uh, when it comes to Bartux, um, they can also be obviously upgraded. Um, and one of the things that you have to think about when you're upgrading these is do you really want to? Um, if you're using them specifically as a buff stack, you might not necessarily want the increased dexterity, the increased strength. Um, and you might want to stick with just the uh, the greater talons. At 79 strength and 79 dex, that is actually a lot lower. And at the ethereal version at 69, 69, um, you know, if you're not actually using it to hit anything, if you're just using it for plus to skills, just use the ethereal one with plus to skills and just just sit it on your offhand as your as your little buff stick, and then you don't have to worry about it. Um, if you do happen to find a 200% ED with 9% lifesteal, you've got something pretty special there, obviously, because that is a perfect Bartux. And then you might have some uh, some people looking to trade for it. Unfortunately, with all class-specific items, they tend to be not as valuable um, unless the character is you know, one that is one that's played often. Like take for instance uh, Herald of Zacharum. People play Paladins all the time, so Herald of Zacharums are very valuable. Whereas um, an item like the Jade Talon, which is specifically for an assassin, is uh, is not as valuable, uh, specifically because assassins are not as popular as Paladins are. Um, same thing with like a Paladin Torch versus an Assassin Torch. Nobody's going to give you an, an, a Paladin Torch for an Assassin Torch because Assassin Torches are uh, far less valuable. Than the uh, than the paladins, and uh, that's just that's just the way things roll. 
Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals um, watching my videos. And, uh, and if you've got some more insight on this particular weapon, I would love to hear it. Um, I am not the infallible source that, I, uh, that some people might think that I am. I'm always learning, and that is the key. Um, as long as you are willing to learn, as long as you are willing to say to yourself, I don't know everything, that I am, that I know nothing, essentially, and, uh, and you take it upon yourself to continue to learn always, you're just going to continue to grow in wisdom. You're going to continue to grow in knowledge. And that is uh, that is what I like. So uh, feel free to put down in the comments uh, what you use Bartex for, what you what uh, what is the accepted use for it. Um, you, know, you know what? Even put down there whether you just drop them on the ground and you don't pick them up. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.